What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we're going to dive into images in Symfony. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? You can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested, the link will be in the description down below. On web pages, images play an important role. A best practice might be to save the image path that users upload inside a database and save them inside the public folder. In this video, we're going to add a static image inside our project directory and print it out inside the browser. Just like the CSS and JavaScript file, you'll be using the compiled version from the public directory, which is then available throughout the browser. Images don't need any processing, which is a good thing. So what we can do is to navigate to the browser. Now let's open a new tab and go to pixabay.com. Let's just click on a random image. Let's say this one. All right, now let's click on free download and let's download the image. All right. As you can see right now, I'm inside the movies folder, which is my symphony project. Let's open the public folder. In here, you will find a build and index file. What I recommend to do is adding a new folder right here with the name of images where we're going to store our image. So let's click on it and I've got my image right at the bottom. Let's drag it in and let's just rename it to make it a little bit easier called image one. Now this should be accessible from the view. Let's navigate back to our code editor and right inside of our index.html.twig, let's create a image tag. All right. The source will be grabbed from the assets folder like we did in the last video. So let's say asset. The path will be images forward slash image one dot JPEG. Now let me actually double check the file extension. All right, that's correct. Now let's keep the alt empty for now. Let's save it. Let's navigate back to Google Chrome. Let's go to our local host. Let's refresh it. And as you can see, the background image is visible. Now this was super simple, but it isn't the right way. The public folder is, well, public. You usually want to hide everything from your user. Now since we already got Encore set up, which gave us the assets folder in the root of our directory, right here, it compiles the CSS and JavaScript. So why shouldn't it compile another asset, which will be the image? First, we got to make sure that we install a file loader through npm. So let me actually get out of my rebuilding phase. Let's say npm install a package called file loader, and we're going to add it in safe mode. So let's say double dash save dash dev. Let's hit enter. All right. Now, as you can see inside the assets folder, it already has an image folder. So what we can do is to drag our image inside the images folder. Let's move it because I'm very sure that I want to do that. Whenever you want to add behavior to your Encore, you got to make sure that you do that inside the webpack convict file. So let's open that. Now inside the Encore section, which starts right here, we can use a new method. So let's go to the bottom again. All right, right below where my post CSS loader. Let's say dot copy files, which is a method. Inside the method, we need to add curly braces and hit enter. And we're basically going to reference an image file from outside of a JavaScript file, which will then put inside the final output directory. So in here, we need to make sure that we define some keys and values. The first key will be from colon and the value will be a string. Let's keep it empty for now and move on to the second one on the line below, because we want to copy files from somewhere to another location, which will also be a string. And finally, we have a pattern that we're going to add. Let's keep it empty. It's not going to be a string. Now let's assign our from key a value. So in here, we're basically going to define where the images are stored. In our case, it will be one directory back, assets folder, images folder. Then we need to define a new path inside the public folder where we want to compile it to, which will be images forward slash. We're going to add a couple wildcards right here which can be done by adding a set of brackets. Inside the brackets, our first wildcard will be the path. Then we have another wildcard, which will be the name, dot. We're going to add a hash, so wildcard called hash colon eight, dot, 
followed with the file extension inside a wildcard, which will be ext. So the file extension. Now these wildcards will basically be replaced with values. Now finally, we have our pattern, which will not be a string like I said before. And this is basically a regex. So let's say forward slash backslash dot parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we're going to define the extensions that we're going to allow. First one will be PNG, pipe, JPEG, pipe, JPEG. Then outside of our parentheses, we're going to add a dollar sign forward slash. Let's save it. Now let's run the npm or run dev command inside the CLI to compile our assets once. It has been compiled with errors, but that has nothing to do with the images. So if we scroll up, inside our build method, you'll find an images folder with a file name called image one dot a hash dot JPEG, which is the file extension. If we open it, you'll see the same image. All right, now how do we output this to the browser? Well, pretty much in the same exact way. Let's close it and go back to our index.html.twig file. Right now, the assets method will look inside the images folder and it will search for a file called image1.jpg. If we refresh our browser, because the file has a different name right now and it's stored in a different location. Now, the assets folder will look inside the public folder. So let's remove the entire path. And what we're going to do right here is to say, well, look inside the build folder, forward slash images folder, and search for an image called, what was the name? Image 1.727060c7.jpg. Save it, navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh the page, and as you could see, the image is printed out again. That being said, this was it for this video where I showed you the best possible way on how you could output images in the browser. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.